Righto, this is the Kedmo TS120 Victor, which was the little 10 watt model that had the s smaller heatsink on it. And um, this came into us with a um, uh, receiver, intermittent receiver. As you'll see on the card, let's have a look here. Uh, if you press down on the delay knob, the radio springs into receive mode. Now, people may look at that explanation and say, bloody hell, really? But let me just give you a little bit of insight into sometimes when someone gives you a note like this it can be it can be better than anything um, so basically what we were doing hitting the top of this here on the one of the buttons here receive would drop out so we know it's on that top board that swings up now there's a um, lovely little board on here that has um, four or five little interface connectors onto it um, now when you're getting that out it is basically um, uh, two screws on the top one screw on the side, three screws on the uh, internals where it connects to the chassis. Uh, I have seen a number of these over the years and um, they're virtually 30 minute fixes. Pull the board out. Um, generally it'll be on those connectors um, uh, one, two and three. Uh, those three connectors down the back, uh, multi-edge connectors, uh, probably, uh, sorry, multi-pin, uh, probably about 12 or 15 pin connectors. And uh, I guarantee you, if you've got a nice little Weller iron like this here, and you get, just get a little bit of fine solder, like you know, something about this sort of gauge here, very, very small gauge, and you go over those connectors, you'll hit the radio, you'll hear the tone still coming through. That's about um, oh, five microvolts, but just to give you an idea, that's down to point 0.2. It's actually hearing under point 0.2. I can just hear it. And that's actually working quite well. Um, we've got one last little thing that we've got to do to this um, and it's just an S meter adjustment. It's um, a little bit out on this one and we're about to pack it away actually and uh, pretty happy with the fact that uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, testing one, two, three. Um, it's coming up uh, nicely on the analyzer, one, two, hello, hello, hello. Remembering this is the um, 10 watt version so uh, you're not expecting huge amounts of power out of them. Um, but um, see how that needle's just sticking there? Well, that's an adjustment we do, and um, we'll uh, get that right. Now, when I say get it right, it's not a matter of just getting it down. You actually want to um, calibrate it to um, your um, signal generator. So basically, um, it's one of the few times you actually follow the manual and, um, and set it up uh, to do so. But um, sometimes the RF gain control, obviously you see how that works there and swings it over. Uh, there's, there's just Someone's done an adjustment on it, and it's just out a bit. Um, but um, I'm running out of time tonight so I thought well I'll throw this back together I'm trying to um, clear bench space a bit more <laughs> and have at least one working spot and not leave a radio there uh, in pieces we, we tend to lose the pieces <laughs> anyway um, yeah so the, the old Kenwood TS120V great old radio honestly um, they, um, they do a fantastic job and um, always known for their distinctive click um, on, the, uh, on the microphone from the MC35S and these were a great microphone noise cancelling and lovely um, this one this is actually um, really in, in pretty good condition as far as uh, it's it's not dropping any bands um, I say that and let's just have a little look here it's dropping 21 ah I know why <laughs> okay let me tell you why that drops 20 <laughs> 21 megs um, little green wire modification on this you'll find that uh, it's actually sitting on 28 megs is sitting on uh, 27 megs and uh, uh, this was one of the um, <laughs> little things that people did often people just cut the wire to them and um, so we've got a second reason to go back into this one but uh, yes so just remember that if 21's dead on it and you can't bring it back in with the VCO uh, like from side to side it's you know if, if it was out just partly but if it's out completely like it's out right now, yeah, someone's done a 27 meg mod to it. And uh, and that one can slip you up sometimes because the band still reads 28 megs. And so when you go around to 28 megs, you don't know it, but you're actually one megahertz down from there. So, uh, and so on and so on. So yeah, just a trick for new players and one for us who probably should have picked that one up a bit earlier. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, all good, but uh, basically this is the, um, 
a uh, little starter radio that everyone used to use back in uh, when I was a novice and 130s were just as popular, well more popular actually, they had the processor, they had the four, four smaller buttons on each side and the processor was just right there and they were a great radio. Alright, well that's just a quick sort of blurb on the um, uh, Kenwood TS120V, we will mod the um, 27 megs out of it, um, I prefer the 21 meg come up, a lot of people used to drill a hole and put a switch on it, we're not so interested in that so we'll, um, we'll just re-hook up the uh, little wire that uh, someone snipped in there and uh, very easy, we might even do a video on that on how to restore your um, 27 meg TS120S, 120V, 130S, 130V back to uh, full amateur bands um, uh, because uh, it's it's not very difficult to do. Okay, 73s from VK3, Charlie Mike, all the best, and um, we'll try and get a few more on as we go along now. We've just been a little bit slow just lately, so uh, we'll uh, get stuck into it. Cheers all.